every senior police officer who gave evidence to the committee pointed to the deliberate attempts by News International to thwart the investigation. And they were very clear, had they had cooperation, they could have got to the bottom of this issue earlier. But there were also failures on the part of the Metropolitan Police, which they have accepted. We've had two resignations over the last 48 hours, and there is an acceptance that things could have been done differently. But this catalogue of failures, both on the part of the police and the thwarting by News International, meant that the people who really matter, the victims, were not put at the centre of this issue. Mr Heyman, Mr Yates and Mr Clark have very distinguished records as far as the Metropolitan Police are concerned. And what they all said to us is that hindsight being a wonderful gift, things would have been done differently. And from Mr Yates's point of view, he accepts that there were uh, opportunities to review these facts much more carefully. And he said his review was very poor. We think it was a serious misjudgment. He, of course, has accepted his responsibility. And I think that that is a very noble thing to do. The Metropolitan Police is in crisis. It's lost its commissioner. It's lost the man who is most experienced at dealing with counter-terrorism. People are covering other people for their jobs. There is a cut in resources of 20%. We need some help for the Met. They really do need help. And Scotland Yard is the most famous and the most impressive detective agency in the world. And if we don't step up to the plate now and help them with additional resources, then frankly, it's not going to be able to do its job.